do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Cheng Fu Sheng was born on October 20, 1954 in Hong Kong. He would become much better known to audiences worldwide as Alexander Fu Sheng. He was born into a wealthy family and was the ninth of 11 kids. He was especially adored by his father. Unlike the rest of his siblings, he displayed very little interest in academics and had no inclination to get involved in his family's businesses. He would leave school after only two years of secondary education and displayed a deep interest in learning Kung Fu. He joined the Shaw Brothers Training Center at the age of 16 and would be amongst the first 45 persons to graduate from the academy on the 28th of September 1972. After he completed his training at the school, Fu Sheng would get discovered at the age of 17 by legendary director Chang Che. He then trained for six months under the guidance of legendary director and martial arts master Leon Kai Yang. In 1972, he made his film debut and appeared in the classic films Man of Iron, Young People, and The Fourteen Amazons. His breakthrough role came in the 1973 film Police Force, which also starred Wang Chung and Philip Kao. He then starred alongside David Chang and Lily Lee in Chang Che's classic action drama, Friends, in 1974. For this performance, he won the Best Young Newcomer Award at the 20th Annual Asian Film Festival. However, his star truly began to shine when he appeared in the classic Kung Fu films, Heroes 2, 1973, Men from the Monastery, 1974, Shaolin Temple and Shaolin Avengers, both in 1976. He would team up with the legendary Chi Kuang Chun in the first of many films, starting with Shaolin Martial Arts, 1974, Men from the Monastery, Heroes 2, Shaolin Temple and Shaolin Avengers. Fu Sheng would play a role that he would become universally synonymous with, that of legendary Chinese folk hero Feng Saiyuk. He would then go on to rise to superstar status with Disciples of Shaolin, 1975. This is considered by many to be the greatest acting performance of his career. In 1975, while he was filming the movie Boxer Rebellion, he met Jenny Seng, who was a popular singer. They fell in love and got married on December 4, 1976. Fu Sheng would continue his movie success in Asia and would gain international fame with the classic movie Chinatown Kid in 1977. However, he would unfortunately suffer two major mishaps, both occurring in September, giving birth to the title, The Black Septembers. While shooting on the set of the movie The Deadly Breaking Sword on December 17, 1978, he suddenly became dizzy and fell from a height of 8 feet. He would narrowly escape a broken neck. The fall, however, would cause a serious concussion and internal bleeding. For a couple of months, he wore a neck brace. The second accident will take place on September 19, 1979, during the filming of the movie Hero Shed No Tears. The harness from which he was suspended broke, sending him crashing to the hard floor. He suffered a broken right leg. After undergoing a first surgery, he would have to undergo another procedure as the bone did not set properly while he was recuperating from the first operation. He would be out of work for six months. As a result of these accidents happening in September, Fu Sheng vowed that he would never film any movies in the month of September for the rest of his career. He made his comeback from his hiatus in 1981 with the classic film The Treasure Hunters, a film that would also star his brother Cheng Pang Ping, along with Gordon Liu and Wang Longwei. With his career back on track, he would keep on rising. During this period, he would leave his longtime collaborator Chang Che, with whom he had made a total of 23 films, and become a student of martial arts master La Kaliang, who was becoming a renowned director in his own right. Fu Sheng was filming the beloved classic movie The Eight Diagram Pole Fighter when tragedy struck. On July 7, 1983, as he was returning to his home after dinner around 10 p.m., he was a passenger in his Porsche that was being driven by his older brother, Chang Zhengsheng. As it was reported, his brother took one of the winding curves on Clearwater Bay Road too fast and hit a cement barrier. 
Sadly, Alexander Fusheng did not survive the crash. He was only 28 years old. On the day of his death, Hong Kong television programming stopped and showed constant pictures of his life and career. His funeral took place on Thursday, July 14, 1983. His life was celebrated with a state's funeral. Over 2,000 actors and 30,000 people attended. The number of attendees and spectators rivaled that of Bruce Lee's funeral a decade earlier. His funeral was organized by the Shaw Brothers Committee. Alexander Fusheng left a long-lasting legacy in Kung Fu film history. With his mischievous good looks and amazing acting, he quickly became a favorite of martial arts fans worldwide. Fusheng's films are still well-loved in Hong Kong and the rest of the world. He has a strong cult following among Kung Fu fans worldwide. He is considered to be one of Hong Kong's best-loved actors and one of Shaw Studios' brightest stars. Fusheng left a plethora of Kung Fu classics for all to enjoy. His films and legacy lives on. To Alexander Fusheng we say, rest in eternal peace and thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you and may the Fu be with you.